Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Scott, and I am the medical director of the Cardiac Rehabilitation Program at El Camino Health. And I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about the program. First, let's talk about the patients. Who is eligible to enter the program? Usually, if you have one of these diagnoses within six months, you're eligible to enter the program at El Camino Health. And the diagnoses are acute myocardial infarction, which is also known as a heart attack, coronary intervention, which means you've undergone a procedure where you've had a stent placed or you've had an angioplasty, coronary bypass surgery, stable angina or stable chest pain of cardiac origin, heart valve surgery, where you've had a valve replaced or repaired, or you have a diagnosis of congestive heart failure with a reduced ejection fraction. And that is patients with congestive heart failure because the heart muscle is not contracting as well as it should. Now, most insurance companies and Medicare approve up to 36 sessions of cardiac rehabilitation. And what that involves is monitored physical activity for a number of those sessions, dietary instruction, where there are classes on how important your diet is to your overall health, how to reduce your stress, and also classes on medication instruction, where you learn what medications do what to your heart and how important they are. Now, the benefits of cardiac rehabilitation are vast and they are very, very significant on mortality. The study I'm quoting was essentially an amalgamation, it's called a meta-analysis of a number of other studies looking at the benefits of cardiac rehabilitation. And what they did was they compared patients who completed a cardiac rehab program to patients who did not complete or did not enter a cardiac rehabilitation program. And what they found was patients who completed a program had a 36% reduction in cardiac deaths and a 26% reduction in all-cause mortality. There was importantly a 47% reduction in reinfarction. This is in the group of patients who presented with myocardial infarction or heart attack. In those patients who presented with cardiac bypass surgery as their reason for entry, there weren't as many studies performed, but there was clearly a 13 to 40% reduction in all-cause mortality. In patients who presented with heart failure, that is failure of the heart as a pump, the muscle is not contracting as well as it should, there was a 45% reduction in mortality. Now for those patients who had valvular procedures, either surgery or repair of their valves, there weren't many studies on mortality. However, there was a clear benefit in the ability to exercise in those patients who completed a program. Now, what happens after your cardiac rehabilitation program is finished? El Camino Health has worked out an arrangement with the El Camino Y, which is right down the block from the Mountain View campus, for those patients who complete a program to have a free three-month membership to the YMCA. And these patients are also eligible to enter into Dr. Kate Collings' program of health wellness, which you'll hear more about in a subsequent talk by her. Now, what are the future plans for El Camino Health cardiac rehabilitation? We've entered into an arrangement with one of the leading home-based cardiac rehabilitation programs. And most of the data have, have shown that home-based cardiac rehabilitation can provide many of the same benefits that the in-person rehabilitation program can provide. Also, we'll be starting 
a cooking instruction and nutrition education program for our cardiac rehabilitation patients that will be available online. And way in the future, there may be an expansion of the cardiac rehab program at El Camino Health into the campus at Los Gatos. So I'd also just like to say thank you to Dr. Catherine Collins and Vivian Lowe. These were the two individuals that started the cardiac rehabilitation program at El Camino Health a number of years ago, and they put together a fantastic program. And also, Julie Arbuckle runs the day-to-day -day management of the program, and this program wouldn't be what it is today without her input. So I'd just like to thank you so much for spending a few minutes learning about the cardiac rehab program at El Camino Health. Thank you.